Hello, my name is Lucy Lynch and I'm Head of Graduate Partnerships at Eden Smith. I'd like to introduce you to Professor Mo, who's the Programme Leader at Salford University. He's doing the MSc in Data Science, uh, where we've been doing the Nurture Programme for the last few years. Thank you for having me uh, uh, here uh, with you. Uh, yes, in 2016, I, I got this funding from the UK uh, HEFKI, which is the Higher Education Funding Body for England. And they gave me fifty thousand pounds to develop this this course, and uh, that was the shortage of data scientists. So I started the program in two thousand and sixteen uh, with twenty students, thirty eight, and then we went to fifty, and just keep going up and up. And today I'm I'm happy to say we now have nearly two hundred and forty students on on the MSc data science course. Remember, this is just amazing. This is we had eight hundred and 25 application and so we for 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 september and so we had to tell a lot of people we don't have you know uh, space to to accept them so there has been the most popular most successful course in the history of university of Salford. the most really important feature of this course is what eden smith is helping us with which is live project so every student on msc data science course is offered a live project within the study and this is a very difficult, challenging thing to do and dealing with the company bringing project. And that's what the Eden Smith and, and of course yourself have been really, really instrumental and uh, really is amazing the way that you have and helped us. With, with your help, we, tell, we, we get the project, we, we, we go through the whole process. The, the company is involved, the student goes for three months. Of course, the company gets three months for something, something somebody for free. The student get the, the taste of real kind of project in industry. Possibly more than 95% of our students have been received, have been um, secured full time position or they doing a PhD is is really is depend is 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 very much uh, the the light project has been a very very helpful in, in in this process. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to Tom Maidley who has, um, through our Nurture programme, taken a placement at Channel 4 as part of his MSc in Data Science uh, internship programme. I think you've just got to be proactive. I think within Data Science, by the time you get to this stage, you've already done at least nine months of Data Science study already. I think in that time, you need to have not found your niche, but identified a couple of niches that you're really interested in. And within those niches, you need to explore it outside of the course as well, because while the course is really comprehensive, the field of data science is vast. There's, there's so many avenues you can go down and they can't cover it all in a 12 month master's. So you need to identify your niches and you need to explore them outside of university. Um, and once you've found those, you need to find a project that aligns with them. I mean, exploring the niches can be uh, doing courses externally, trying to get unpaid work experience doing something. I think it's just really important to be curious and explore around the taught material. I think the, the biggest sort of surprise for me working in industry was um, how important communication is. So um, that's communicating with other technical people like data, other data scientists, data engineers, um, software engineers, whoever it may be. Um, but non-technical people as well. Um, I think you can only describe a concept or the work that you've done to someone non-technical if you really understand what you've done. So that's really important. Um, but all of your work is, it's kind of worthless if you can't explain it. If you, if you, you need to be able to describe what you've done in normal terms so that other people can make use of your work. Otherwise it's, it's worthless. A lot of industries, particularly because of the pandemic, um, their doors have been closed to things like this. Everyone's looking to save money. Um, everyone's, you know, having a bad time. It's an economic recession. Um, it would have been really difficult. I mean, not to mention that I don't have any contacts. I'm new to the industry. I don't, I don't even know who I would contact to try and get an internship. So in short, I don't think I would have been able to find one. You, you've been like a, a professional kind of mentor. Like, like I said, I've got no experience of the data industry. So you've sort of been able to break me into um, what companies expect from a junior, um, what I can actually offer to them as well. So I think I've had a massive confidence boost in the fact that we had this structured program where I could 
Um, we got a list of the, the prospective projects and we could see what companies expected. Um, and, you know, we could apply in a structured way um, that maybe I wouldn't have applied otherwise. Like, I probably wouldn't have reached out to Channel 4 hoping to get an internship. I, I wouldn't have dreamed that I would have been able to do that. But the last kind of few weeks is is tricky. Um, putting everything that I've been working on for the last sort of two months uh, down into 15,000 words is always difficult, where it's been hundreds of hours of my life. Um, but no, I think as an experience on the whole, it's been amazing, honestly. I, I, I've learned so much. I've probably learned more in the last two, three months than I have in the nine months previous. Like, no offense to my lecturers who've all worked very hard to educate me, but um, I think just having that experience where, um, you know, the, the expectation of knowledge is there and there's people around you to support you to get that knowledge all the time um, is just hugely beneficial. Spending 40, 40 plus hours a week doing data science is the best way to learn. And we're delighted that Tom has now accepted a full-time permanent position working with Channel 4. Now he's finished his dissertation. For us, it's just worked out really well. I mean, we were we were thinking about record, re recruiting for a junior position at the start of the summer or like late spring. And um, and doing, doing something like this really helps because I think there's massive variability in the candidates at this level. And it's great to kind of yeah, work with someone um, before you start thinking about making office and so on.